in the north of Durban went to one side with 12 armed people last week. Hello and welcome back to Easy Finance. Today we are diving into the intriguing world of the Kappa Brothers, a family that is as influential as it is controversial. Hailing from Umlazi in the Etagwin region of KwaZulu-Natal, the Kappa Brothers have made a name for themselves, so let's get into it. This video is made for educational purposes and please don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video while you are at it. Now the Gaba brothers are part of the prominent Gaba family. The most well-known members are Stembiso Gaba, Mfundo Gaba, Mandlagapeli Eric Gaba and Tembingo Gaba. This controversial family owns several successful businesses in South Africa with their main venture being in the taxi business. Now, collectively, the Gaba brothers are worth billions of friends, although their exact net worth remains a closely guarded secret. The Gaba family's business empire traces its roots back in 1970s, when the South African businessman Simon Gaba established a series of ventures, including Mama's Bakery in Umlazi Township and the Songe Long Distance Taxi Association. The businesses quickly rose to prominence, making Simon one of the wealthiest and most influential figures in the taxi industry in his region. Simon often credited with transforming the face of the taxi industry in South Africa. However, tragedy struck in February 1996 when Simon Kaba was assassinated in a shocking hit that left his family devastated. This was not the end of the hardships for the family, as one of his sons, Moses, also lost his life in a bloody taxi war that followed. Despite these tragic events, the Gaba family was motivated to continue Simon's legacy. Now, by 1999, Mandlagapeli Eric Gaba had taken over the reins of the family's business. Now, the Gaba family is chiefly known for their dominance in the tax industry, but they have diversified into other business ventures as well, although this remains less publicized. Their taxi empire alone boasts over 100 taxis, including a fleet of buses and other commercial vehicles, all branded with the Gaba family imprint. With an annual budget of around 220 million rands, they hold a substantial share of the taxi business in KwaZulu-Natal. There have also been allegations that the Gaba family provided transport for former South African President Jacob Zuma during his campaigns. Now, in 2021, they were also rumored to have donated cars for people to head to the Escort Correctional Center to protest Jacob Zuma's imprisonment, a claim they vehemently denied. Now, another interesting thing is that the Gaba brothers are related to Jacob Zuma by blood. They are his nephews, as their mother is Jacob Zuma's sister. Now, let's meet some of the key members of the Gaba family. Firstly, we take a look at Mandla Gaba, whose full name is Mandla Gapeli Eric Gaba. He took over the family's business after Simon's death in 1996. Mandla is a significant figure in the taxi industry and has diversified in his investments. He co-owns a construction and real estate development business called MNP Developments and a football technology company called Field Ears. He also owns an outsourced company called Transnat, which operates Deben's Metro Bus service since 2009. Also in 2010, Mandla was reported to be a co-director of Inka Nyamba Beverages alongside Jacob Zuma's son and shared directorship in six companies with another Zuma's nephew named Kubulus. Now Mandla worked in South Africa's prison service until 1992 before joining the taxi business. He is married to three women and has over 10 children, but his personal net worth remains undisclosed. Next is Mfundo Kava, another powerful family member who gained fame after a shooting at the Brook Street taxi rank. This incident is stemmed from a dispute between the Songe Long Distance Taxi Association and Zamogutle Long Distance Taxi Association over specific routes. Now Mfundo was accused of being the driving force behind Songe's illegal activities leading to the shooting. In court, Mfundo revealed he owned several luxurious cars and 24 taxis generating approximately 400,000 rents a month. He is engaged to three women and has eight children. Mfundo remains actively involved in the family's taxi operations. It is also worth noting that this is the same Mfundo Kaba who has been linked to the murders of rapper Kinan Forbes and his celebrity chef friend Debel Lotips Motuan after he deposited an amount of 800,000 to one of the accused accounts a day after the incident. Then we have Stembi Sotkaba, who made headlines in 2021 after being arrested for making multiple withdrawals using 70 stolen Sasa cards amounting to 180,000 rands. Now his newly purchased AMG GT63 Mercedes-Benz was confiscated but he was later released on a bail of 5,000 and faced fraud charges. 
And last but not least of the most famous Kaba brothers, we have one Dile Kaba. Although less publicized, he is known for his social media presence, flaunting his wealth online. He frequently shares photos of himself with luxury cars and high-end fashion, showcasing his extravagant lifestyle. Despite his social media activity, not much is known about his personal life. There are even more Kaba brothers whose identities remain under the radar. The death of Slebe Kaba in February 2021 found lifeless in a bullet drilled Range Rover highlighted the existence of more family members who stay out of the public eye. Now the Kaba's family influence and wealth have often attracted public scrutiny, leading to their reputation as a criminal gang. They have been linked to various crime-related activities and high-profile investigations but managed to evade significant consequences, leading many to speculate about their political connections and influence over security personnel. Living in luxury, the Kaba brothers own a very big mansion in Umlaz, the exact details of which are kept secret. Their garage houses a fleet of exotic cars, including Ferraris, Mercedes-Benz AMGs, and Bentleys. They are known for making grand entrances at events, flanked by their well-trained bodyguards from their private security firms. In 2010, Mandrat Kawa was sued over a 5 million rand home in Umtlanga Rocks, Devon, for failing to pay for the property and the related bills. Despite this, the Kaba family continues to flaunt their wealth at social gatherings and remains a powerful force in South Africa. Despite their opulent lifestyle and alleged shady dealings, the exact net worth of the Kaba brothers remains a mystery, and their story is a blend of wealth, power, and controversy, making them one of the most intriguing families in South Africa. The family have proven to be so powerful that even the police minister of South Africa could not mention their name publicly. I will show in the clip that is about to follow where Peggy Kele was afraid to even mention the name of one of the most powerful brothers in an interview. In the north of Durban, went to one site with 12 armed people last week, <laughs> not the very last Friday, the other one, on a Friday. 12 armed people. The petty in Togo head. They bomb. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the Gaba Brothers family world. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video for more videos like this.